Hello! Welcome to day 9 of my 30 day drawing challenge. If you like, you can also take part and push your creativity with this challenge. You can start whenever you like because it's not necessary to start with the beginning of a month. You can use any medium and style you like, but try to challenge yourself from time to time. If you like, you can also show me your creations by using the hashtag HelloRambu, but you can also use this hashtag to show me your other drawings. I will put a link to the challenge in the description box, so you can simply download it or make a screenshot of it. Try to be creative every day, but if you're not in the mood to draw, it's okay. You can just continue another day. I want to push your creativity, but it's more important to have fun. Take your time to do the challenge at your own pace. And if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Today's video is a drawing exercise again. For this day of the challenge, we need to draw a random object in our room. My random object is this pretty candle holder. I already talked about the benefits of doing drawings from life in my previous video. And because of that, I want to talk about something else. Something I should have done earlier. The Q&A. A long time ago, I asked for your questions for a Q&A. And I filmed it twice. But the translation part took too long and new work came and the Q&A just passed out of my mind and and if you know my other and older videos you will see that I'm only talking German on cam and write the subtitles in English which is a huge work and yeah but today I will finally answer your questions let's start with one of the most common question why Rambutan when my mother was pregnant with me, she had a huge appetite of the rambutan fruit. When she gave birth to me, I had those crazy little curls, which reminded her of this fruit. And of course, I also loved to eat rambutan so much as a kid. And I still do love eating rambutan. In Thailand, it's a common thing to have a nickname, which is far different from your real name. Everybody called each other with a nickname, Except if you have to submit your personal information to kinds of authorities, etc. So my nickname became Ngo because I'm half Thai. And Ngo means Rambutan in Thai language. But because it's too complicated to pronounce it for non-Thai speaking people, um, I use just Rambutan. Because if you're also reading it wrong, um, like Ngo, because it's written N-G-O, it basically means stupid. So that's why it's Rambutan. I mean, you can try to pronounce Ngo, but most of the people I know uh, who tried it uh, just pronounced uh, something like Ngo. Leila asks, how old are you and what's your ethnicity? I'm 25 years old, but I will turn 26 next month. I was born in Münster, Germany and I'm half German and half Thai. Brenna asks, what's your zodiac sign? I'm Taurus. Where do you live? I'm living in Berlin. Do you like cats? If so, what specific things do you like about them? I love cats. I basically love all animals. I like that they like to be alone sometimes, but on the same hand, they can be very faithful and love to cuddle and they are awesome food warmer in winter time. Yuki-chan asks, do you watch anime? If you do, what's your favorite? Mine is Tokyo Ghoul and Durarara. Da -da -da -da. I do watch anime, but really not that often as I used to when I was younger. Besides all the Ghibli movies, I really love Samurai Champloo, which is my total favorite, and I also love Chin Chan and Detective Conan and Tokyo Godfathers and a lot more, but I uh, just forget what I also love. Yeah, but these are my all time favorites. Kukineko! My question for your QA What kind of series or animes do you watch? 
as normal series, I love to watch Daunton Abbey and Often Black. Marceline Joseph. What is your favorite food, color, animal, plushies, artwork, band, music? Thank you and I love you. And a similar question from Toadia. Ah, sorry if someone already asked these questions. I didn't read all of the comments. Question. What is your favorite color, animal, food, memory, season, smell, type of music, author, tradition? Just your favorite things in general, haha. Uh, maybe an embarrassing story. What makes you laugh and smile? What are some things that annoy you? What is your name, nickname? Why did you call your channel Rambutan? Is it because of the food? I would love to put like a million more questions, but I will stop now. In general, I just want to get to know you better as a person. I love learning about the things that people enjoy and do not enjoy. They all make you, you. Also, I really love the ending. LOL. Uh, yeah, okay, um, answering on both questions. <sighs> Patai, green, goats and frogs, everything with chi and gudetama, everything from Ayami Kojima, Remy Roman, memories of good food, spring, lavender, classic, Jiro Taniguchi, Christmas because of food and embarrassing story, my life, dark evil humor, dumb people, Ngo, Steffi, Staffel, Steifer and 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 because it's my name. <gasps> Banana Coon, have you ever listened to K-pop? Yep. Mini Love Anime. Will you come at conventions in France? I really like your art and your videos. Hard hard. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, maybe I will in the future. Who knows? Shera sama. Can I numb on your head and suck out the delicious art knowledge from your brain meats? Uh, what? Uh, no. <laughs> Pika readings. If you were being charged for a crime that you committed, what crime would you have committed? Uh, petty larceny of food? Foxy T L P. If you are allowed to draw only one last picture, what kind of picture would you draw? A giant penis. Derpy chicken. I love that ending. Also, teach me senpai. How can I be as kawaii as you? Uh, you are poor. Nine X. Describe yourself with only three words. Um, introverted, stubborn and silly, I guess. Ava Martino, do you create any of your own characters? P.S. Notice me, Senpai! Okay, I notice you. And yes, I create all of my own characters. Ringo Chan. Do you have any original characters or write stories about your art? Yes, I do. Um, you can find some of them on my Facebook page in the OC folder. Alexandra Renard. How many copies do you have? I'm curious about it. Cute face. In the last couple of months I uh, bought a bunch of copies again and so I guess I so I guess I reached uh, about 100 copies now. Melissa Blumen. Hey, I have three questions. One. How long have you been drawing? When did you start? Um, I started like almost every child when I was in kindergarten. Two. What materials did you use at first? The first materials I used were pencils and colored pencils. Would you mind showing some of your earlier works? Uh, no, I don't mind. I already have a video about me showing my art, but again, the subtitles took too much time and the video just gets old and it has a really bad audio. But here is a short clip of it. And this here wollt ihr gar nicht erst lesen. Das ist da so, boah, so ein Kitsch drin. Ich hab so eine Scheiße geschrieben, sowas wie. Ich habe sie beobachtet durch das Glasauge eines Blauwalds. <lacht> so. <lacht> oh, das ist echt peinlich, das war zu lesen. Meine einzige Verbindung zu einer mir unbekannten Welt ist das Glasauge eines. <lacht> das ist doch besser als das Blauwald. Meine einzige Verbindung 
zu einer mir unbekannten Welt. Es ist ganz <lacht> Ich hab das, ich hab das noch so. <lacht> oh. Meine einzige Verbindung zu einer unbekannten Welt ist das Glasauge eines Diamanten im Hals, deren Tränen. Das Wasser salzig machen. Seither beobachte ich nur eine Person, die mir so. die mir so. so. die mir so wie so. Was, was steht da? Das ist eigentlich. wenn man das so liest. wenn man das so liest. Das ist eigentlich wie so eine richtig schlechte Twilight-Geschichte. Da halt Edward Creeper, so, ich beobachte dich schon seit zwei Monaten im Schlaf, während du schläfst, so, was? Und genauso creepy ist auch der Typ der Geschichte. Meine einzige Verbindung zu einer mir unbekannten Welt ist das Glasauge eines Diamanten, weil es deren Tränen das Wasser salzig machen. Ich beobachte dich schon seit Monaten durchs Glasauge eines Diamanten, <lacht> während du schläfst. Oh, oh, Edward. <laughs> oh, Edward. Maybe I will try it again. So let's see. I have a lot of videos I want to do. So. Mm. Madeleine Richardson. Where do you live? Do you buy your comics in big sets or little? Or just buy them not in sets? Where do you get your comics? Um, I'm... I'm living in Berlin and I get my comics at Zeichen Center Ebeling which is also in Berlin and when I started getting Copic markers I got at first only three of the classic markers and later I bought two small sets and since then I only bought them individual. HK cute! What are your art inspirations and do you ever feel really bad because you think you're not good at art? Um, my biggest inspiration are now Ren and I am Ikojima. Sometimes I do struggle with thinking I'm bad, but then I either stop drawing and do something different, or I practice until I think I understand my problems. DBZ, just Saiyan. What would you change about your art style? Uh, I would change nothing. What I want is to improve and get better. And of course, I want to learn more techniques with different art supplies. Three, two, six, nine, two, zero, one, zero. If this has already been asked, answered, feel free to ignore it. Um, what would you say is the most difficult part about drawing for you? Backgrounds, hands, coming up with an idea, etc. The most difficult part, um, definitely backgrounds. If it comes to this, my mind is just empty. Because I'm focusing more on the figure than seeing a whole setting in which the character could fit in. I don't know, um, sometimes I just finish drawing the figure and put the drawing away thinking for days what kind of background would fit. And at the end, the background stays either white or it gets just some color. Most of the time it's a real struggle to me. And the last question is from Sakuems. I have an opinion on this and I would like to know yours. What do you think about artists saying that other artists shouldn't critique other artists work? Whoa. Complicated question. In my opinion artists are more than allowed to give a critique about other artists works uh, because the artist can have a different feedback than a non-artist and I think all opinions are valuable and when it's relevant and honest uh, not just hating what are your thoughts about that and in general learning to accept critiques I think critique is important each person has the right to give critique positive or negative But I also think that everyone who gets critique has also the right to not to accept critique. 
it's a difficult topic to talk about and there are a lot of aspects to pay attention to um, but I truly think critique should be constructive and helpful and not um, and not diminish somebody's achievements and if a person really don't want to get critique or don't want to accept critique you need to respect that wish unnecessary if it's a critique of an artist or of a non-art related person critique can be really helpful especially critique given by other artists i think because um because an artist has a different view of things and sometimes he knows the struggle because he had similar experiences so I think it's up to each person and you can only be a help if the other person wants your help. So it would be kind of rude um, to impose on one's opinion on others. Uh, well, it's, it's difficult. Um, I, in general, I agree with you. But it's also important not to forget um, to respect the wish from other people if they don't want to get critique. So this is my short opinion about critique in general. So um, so I think I stop here before this video gets too long. I received a lot more questions. So I hope you enjoyed this short Q&A. And please don't be sad if your question was not answered in this video. Let's collect some new questions for the next Q&A. So smash the button and hit your questions in the comment section down below. And if you like, you can also use the hashtag TellMeRambu if you want to ask me something on Instagram. Tell me Rambu, da, 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 da. Uh, well, um, whatever. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Tammy Rambo ain't nothing but questions. Tammy Rambo ain't nothing but asking things. <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs>